all right okay yeah. yeah so how to do it so first you create a list of account ids then forget about the identifier we are not using it so uh, let's say this is the uh, list of account ids all right and we okay. are checking whether it is a delete operation is going on or a non delete operation is going on because oh, depending on because depending on that we should uh, we should pass the context as well i mean it can be triggered dot new or it can be triggered dot old correct no if it, i'm still uh, stuck in why we should go for delete if some opportunity is deleted let's say a uh, parent has five opportunities correct okay and the fifth opportunity is having the highest amount so now mm -hmm. the fifth opportunity is deleted okay correct then we yeah. all, we need to compute the highest amount again for the account correct yes and let's say the fifth opportunity we deleted we are undeleting it again so again we need to compute it again correct okay yes yeah so we will check here whether it is a delete op operation or non delete operation so if it is a non delete operation so we will track the opportunities from the trigger dot new context okay so it is like uh, undelete or uh, in 13th line yeah so op undelete update and insert all these three operations are non delete operations correct and for all these operations the context will be trigger dot new yeah yeah i got that but uh, uh, is delete like in 13th line we are going for is delete right so no it's not delete because there is an exclamation okay okay which okay, means it not that. equals yes. to ah, yeah, delete got okay it. yes yeah. all right so if that is the case then we will go for the trigger dot new context from the opportunities we will okay. take the account ids from parent account ids from all those opportunities and store it in the account id list okay similarly if it is a delete operation then we will take the all the opportunities from the trigger trigger dot old context fetch the account ids store it in the account ids okay uh, in real time scenario mm -hmm. uh, like uh, do we do we lo do like this because why we need a deleted records so... yeah of course of course let's say some user delete the opportunity records then you should compute it again right got it correct yes 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 sir. for example the fourth like the last mm -hmm. uh, uh, highest amount should mm. get added okay 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 yeah it's not that uh, let's say we have five opportunities okay okay so let's say fifth is the highest second in the second is the second highest so if we yeah. delete the fifth one then we should if uh, i mean uh, the, updated I with the fourth correct. Uh, of yeah. no no second one second one has the second highest correct yeah second correct, opportunity correct. is correct so the, that that yes, way we should yeah whenever something changes then we will recompute the logic again to get the it. correct amount all right yes yeah okay so okay it's so we uh, are just keep on adding the ids to that list correct so this is a first step and okay. then you will create you will call you will create a handler class and call that handler with by passing those account id list all right okay so this is i have written for count of contacts so i think i have written it also let's go back to that yeah i think this is the one no 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 okay give me a minute okay yes Yeah. Okay. Okay. So similarly, we have done this, all right, and we have created a handler class that took, uh, I mean, to uh, fetch the maximum opportunity, all right, and let okay. to uh, fetch. max oh okay so this is the handler class name 
and we will call it here. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So just make it clear here. So this is the handler method. Okay. So actually I was trying to write the two methods in the same class. So you can use uh, a different class for that as well. Okay. okay. So let's say we have the class. All right. Correct. And we we'll just write the and then we should try it. All right. Okay. Okay. See, we have created a new class with the trigger handler. And in that handler, we are accepting the account ID list here. So just you can forget about the identifier for now. Just you can uh, uh, make it clear that the handler class is accepting the account ID list, which we have already parsed as argument. Okay. Yeah. So up, okay. up till this, it is clear to you? Yes, clear. Yeah. So our next step is we need to create a map of ID and parent, parent object type. Okay. So here our parent object is account. Yes. So we will create a map with account ID and account. Yes. And the next step, we will traverse the account ID list, as I mentioned, and add each record for each ID in the map. Got it? Okay. Yeah. We will fetch all the uh, records from the account ID list, and we will put each record in the account ID map with ID is equal to account ID, which means we are taking the same ID and creating the new account for this particular map. And we are writing the max amount as zero. So this is a key step here. We need to uh, write the max amount should be zero first. Initially, Initial when the map is being created, Initial. yeah, the max amount should be zero. And the, okay. during the creation, the account ID should be the account ID, what we have fetched from the account ID list. All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So now what will you do? You will get the opportunities. Now we need to traverse the child objects. Okay. So here the child object is opportunity. So we need to traverse through opportunity and the query should be like this. The select ID account ID amount from opportunity where account ID in account ID list. So we are fetching those many opportunities, which are the child opportunities for the parents, which we have fetched. Got it. Okay. And here I have an, a yeah, small me. query. So here uh, select ID account ID, right? So account yeah. ID is the field name from the account, you no know, account. Object. No, 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 no. It's a lookup field. Yeah. Uh, if it is a lookup field, we will not write the uh, uh, dot relation. So that is for no, a custom no. object. No, 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 you are no, not like that. So here we are taking the look of field only. Okay. We are not taking any field from the parent object. We are taking okay. the look of field itself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this account ID field is a look of field present in the opportunity object only. It is not present in the account. Account. Got it. Yeah. So yes. we are selecting ID, account ID and amount from the opportunity whose ID falls in the account ID list. I mean, whose parent ID. I mean, the account ID falls in the account ID list. Got it? Okay. Okay. So this, uh, uh, until this, it is clear to you? Clear. clear. Okay. Like, um, let's make a note of it. So fetch the opportunities, which are child to the accounts we fetched. earlier all right okay so now we will check that if the opportunity we have taken in the for loop so if yes. that 
opportunities account id is matching with the id from account map so get it clear first so here we are so in the left hand side we are taking the account id from the opportunity okay 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 and now in the mac account map we have created so from yeah. there we are writing as account map dot get op dot account id until okay. this can you understand so from yes. this map if you like like this it will get the account which has the id of the same opportunities parent id got it Oh no! Uh, in 61st line, uh, can you okay. uh, uh, split it and explain? Uh, yeah. Okay. So here we can like write like this: account ACC equals to and then you can write it as ACC. So now is it clear? See if we write as account map dot get op dot account id, which means, see here the thing. So is, you are passing a key value. Right? Correct, correct. Key value. Right. Yeah. So that key yes. is what opportunities account id. Correct. Yes. And yes. we are getting the account value from value. the map, which ah. has the same key. Correct. Same key, key. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, in the left hand side, account ACC uh, is that? Uh, uh, we are creating a new object here. I mean, object uh, here. Right, right. Yeah. New object. Okay. Okay. Which can store the records of account. So here we fetch the accounts from the map. using the key value which is the account id of the selected opportunity okay got it yes so now we will check if the opportunity we have taken from the for loop so that is equal to the ID of which we have fetched is in yes. the map, correct? Yeah. So yes. if that is matching, then we will check okay. if the opportunities amount is greater than the accounts amount we have already got. Initially, it will be zero, correct? Initially, it will yeah. be zero. So now let's say the opportunity amount is 10. So now yes. 10 is greater than zero. Yeah. And then again, accounts. Max amount will be replaced by ten here. You are updating the opportunity dot amount. Correct. So the for loop goes on. The highest amount mm -hmm. will get updated. Correct. Yes. Got it. Yes. So in the final step, we will check if the we will check all the values. If it is not null, we will just update the values of the account map. Okay. Dot values. Correct. Oh. So dot values will fetch you the account, all the account records from that map. Correct. Yes, uh, but uh, only object is not enough. Uh, like no, update. No. Yeah, we need to update our object list. Okay. Object so, list. Yeah. So whenever you call account map dot values, which come as come as a list. Okay. All okay. Right? Directly you are uh, writing. It. Yeah. yeah. Not storing it in. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So. Yeah, clear. So, okay. Okay, let's say instead of this, uh, yeah. instead of fetching the max amount of the opportunity, you need to count the number of opportunities for an account. Okay. Then how can you write it? It's a 